to prove that, Jake's gonna knock this out. Power clean this right now? Yeah, I thought you were power. What is this, 365 you said? Since last year. Which is more than 99% of the people on YouTube. Big, big day here at Fitness Culture. It's going down. We officially have about 80% of our equipment here. Woo! Look at this going on. Power racks. So this is the full rack here. Bada boom, bada bing, full rack, half rack. Okay. Jake does it all. Jake does it all. Building these, got great help here. This place is gonna be this place is gonna be freaking amazing when it's done. Look, all the bars are laid out. Thank you, Sonny, for doing that. We gotta get the, the cardio machine still. Functional area, We're gonna have a rope. Look, we even got all the balls. All the balls you guys can need to play with. Boom, balls everywhere. Pile boxes, tires, sandbags, foam rollers. Got it going on. This is gonna be pretty much college strength and conditioning. Like, think of bumper plates. We're gonna have places for people to get super duper strong. Crossfit looking area over there. And then over on that side, we have, we have the bodybuilding stuff. Hey, you did a good job wakeboarding in today's video, wake surfing. Oh, thanks. It was pretty good, man. Killing it. Even though I said to Jason, if you make him look better than me, you're done. He's fired. That's how good Jason is. He made me look really good out there today. Good. You did look good. Killed it. I've been watching you from a distance as I turn out all the lights. All I want from you is to listen and remember the good times. If you think of all that we leave out, is that weird you're feeling good? I know nothing ever turned out as you wanted to. So we're having some issues. The floor people didn't exactly set, because we're having put in all our racks based off of the platforms. The problem is, is between each rack, we're supposed to be able to put a bar would act as a pull-up bar. You can see that doesn't make sense. It's just not gonna fit, so we're gonna have to Customize if we want a, an extra chin up bar in between each rack. We're gonna have to customize a long piece because the flooring people didn't quite space the flooring out properly. The cool thing is, is with these racks, we have so many band attachments, jammers, like you're in an athletic stance and you, you hit your ear and you press out plyometrics, explosive squats, things for chains, obviously to hold all the plates. This area in here is gonna be where your athletes, your power athletes, your strength, explosion. This is like, like I said, college strength training room, college weight room in here. That's where you're gonna find this stuff. So that combined with the turf right here, you can have some classes going, the functional rigs, and then the bodybuilding area. We need to figure out what we're gonna do though about those extra full bars. What we got here? We got a mistake. Guys. So you're saying they need to put 180 degrees oh. to hold the big rack? Just a, no, just, no, these, just, just these parts. So we're only eight, we're only eight bolts wrong. We just gotta flip this, but we'll have the ball pull-ups on the outside now. Oh. So we kind of did it on purpose. Yeah. That's a problem. There's always issues when things don't come with instructions. Growing up, I did Legos. I did those connector sets. If there's no instructions, I'm screwed. No, there's gotta be different ones to face the other way. Yo, these guys killed it in here. So we're taking apart, we're taking apart the CrossFit, the functional area, because this was too big. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that quite yet. The, we'll call this from now on strength conditioning segment because this is what you would see in a real deal strength conditioning gym, NFL, college. Best part about these, you have a half rack and a full rack on the other side. Everything comes fully loaded, so be able to band things up like I was talking about earlier. Here are those jammers that I was talking about. This is, if you're a football player, getting um, 
getting into these is more explosive movements, super dope. And then the only thing we're missing right now are the weight storage. So we'll have storage coming off each one of these. 45, 35, 25, 10, five, two and a half. Um, and once we get that, we got bars, we got weightlifting bars, we got Olympic lifting bars, we have training bars. I might have to do some curls in the squat rack. So we have a, a bench for each station, which is super nice. And then this will all be the bodybuilding area. We'll have some jerk boxes over there. Um, I need a cable crossover. That's my biggest move. Opening up a gym, you have to do it in stages is what I found out. And it's also helpful if you have someone that you trust that's gonna be managing the gym or your partner in it who can be here if you travel a lot. That's me, I travel a lot. But it's super rewarding to see it all coming together right now. And I just, I can't wait till this place is flooded with people, the paint is done. I can just visualize it now, the paint being done, all the weights are here, everything's set up where we want, the walls, the mats, and we're just rocking and rolling. We got music playing, we actually got Sonos in here. We got a few more pieces of cardio that need to come. But the gym right now, I would say is about, what would you say the gym is right now? About 80% done? 75%? 80. 80? Hammer strength. Hammer strength, painting. Cardio, 75. 75. Yeah, weight cardio. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. And once we get once we get all this stuff put away, we got the weight storage on there. Bench it's going down. Nice, huh? What do we do? It looks amazing. Oh, we're gonna bench. butt's not gonna be coming up now. Mine. Hey, yeah. no more shit talking on Jake's butt coming off when he benches 500 pounds. Like you guys could do that even if your butt did come up. These benches are nice now. Though. They're sick. Yeah. Do I know why I'm even more excited for this gym? Because it means I'm gonna get my ass in shape, not because we have a place to work out, but because Jake, when we work out together and we have stuff we need to do, we just end up talking about all the shit we need to do, and then it's like, oh, you wanna work out? And we're like, ugh, we got too much to do, and we don't do it. So, this means as stuff gets done, there's less things to talk about. It's just time to lift some damn weights. Leg day. stronger using legit equipment to prove that Jake's gonna knock this out power clean this right now? yeah I thought you were power here like be ugly. you haven't power clean in how long really I haven't done any cleans in what is this 365 you said since last year which is more than 99% of the people on YouTube That's all it's gonna be ugly Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Thanks, don't, don't post that, that was ugly. Honest to goodness, one of my favorite things about this gym is the fact that we see sun up every day, beautiful sunrises, and then this. That looks like a picture.
guys, that was it for tonight's leg workout. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you straight. I feel like it's been a long time since I've had good workouts uh, here and there, like good workouts consistently. So, you know, you can call it stress. We talk about growing up, you always heard health classes or people talk about stress when you're an adult. And I really have found that it's been this year that stress in my life has hit an all-time high. You might say, yes, yeah, Steve, how much stress can you really have? If you look at, there's a scale out there to kind of measure your stress. And I suggest you guys kind of do this so you can help realize sometimes what you're feeling is stress and then how to combat that. Exercise is probably the best thing I have found. Exercise and getting enough sleep to combat stress. Um, because when I stress out, I don't sleep as much. I don't eat right, I don't drink enough water, and I don't train right. And then that leads to me stressing more because I care about my body first and foremost. I care about being healthy first and foremost. So when you're stressing and it leads to you not being healthy, you end up stressing some more. And I know Courtney can attest to this with all the stomach issues she's had. She stressed out because she felt so much pressure to win the Arnold last year that it just wrecked her body. So recognizing stress. You can guys get online and take stress tests. So things that, that are super high on the stress meter would be a new job or getting fired, a divorce or the end of a relationship, moving, um, a death in the family is, is huge. I think that's actually number one. So you can go on there and kind of see the things that are super stressful. Biggest thing for me, moving. Over the last 14 years, since the day I graduated high school, I have not lived in one place for longer than a year. I'm gonna repeat that, I haven't lived in one place for longer than a year. And that has wrecked havoc on my system. Traveling the world, that has also come into play with it. But I love that, I enjoy that. Something I love doing is, is meeting new people. I don't enjoy moving. So the biggest thing for me in, in deciding what I was going to do with this gym, where do I wanna be long-term? Friends, family, you know, you guys can probably already see it. Just got a dog, that's stressful. Buying, buying a boat, all things that are leading to this this life that I have envisioned for myself with friends and family in a place that I truly enjoy, building a gym. So first and foremost, new job. I would call this a new job. We had put so many hours. I didn't realize how much went into opening up a gym, not just the money. We've spent over $300,000 easily and we've gotten great deals and have done deals with people to get some amazing equipment. But when you talk about the flooring, all the weights, the painting, the, the remodeling that's gone on, um, the rent, our rent here is $9,000 a month, which is actually isn't too bad considering we're 11 and a half thousand square feet. But opening up this gym has definitely been the, a big stress. Moving to St. George, obviously that's a huge, huge stress. And, and I can feel it in my body, I can feel it everywhere. So the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to in 2018 now that this gym is almost done, now that I've put things behind me, some negative things, put things behind me that I'm looking forward to in a great place with great people, and we're gonna do amazing, amazing shit. Like we are gonna do from camps, obviously starting off the year with the Gymshark meetup, the new app is launching, which has another, been another huge stress that has gone along with the gym, but you go through these stresses because eventually you don't, you don't change unless there's some outside stress put on you. That is what invokes change. You know, if, you, if you're staying in a relationship that you shouldn't be in, or if you're getting out of a relationship or someone has broken up with you, you change no matter what. It's stress, there's good stress, there's bad stress. Bad stress is typically when it, it, it actually starts inhibiting the rest of your life. Um, but stress isn't always a bad thing. When too much of it uh, occurs and you start feeling it in ways that I felt it, it becomes a negative thing. So just getting healthy mentally, physically, that's the goal for 2018. And I, you know, I wanna say thank you guys for, for coming along. You know, I, 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 you know, I feel like the last six months I haven't been myself with all of this kind of stuff and I haven't, been, like I said, been able to share it with you. So I appreciate you guys still being here and still supporting. Um, it's gonna be one hell of a 2018 season. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and I hope you guys are ready to go come January. Like we're doing so many things. The Big and the Lean program, we were charging $120 because everything was customizable. What we did is we built an app, spent $100,000 on an app to make things cheaper for people to make it more automated. So we don't have people working on the back end of stuff as much. So it's gonna be more um, all still 
customized programs, but through algorithms and an app that we're super excited because we're gonna, it's gonna allow more people to get better programming. The, the problem with programming out there in this industry is it's so cookie cutter. I've teamed up with people, Jake, Alan, people with master's degrees, we're setting up so much stuff from on ramps to powerlifting programs. Everyone, you know, it's not just a program you get sent and you just do the exact same thing everyone else is doing. There's an on ramp, then you get put in the general population after you've seen what you can do in specific maxes. You're working off percentages. There's so much. I could seriously make a video about each one of these things I'm talking about, and that's that's kind of what I'm getting at. I've been overwhelmed this year, but guys, amazing things happen when you persevere. So whatever you're going through in life, I know sometimes the holidays are hard, but wherever you're going through persevere. When you do that, you're going to become stronger. That stress, that 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 trials and tribulations that cause stress, they change you and make you better. And I can fully attest to that in 2017. And there's been times I've been worried about, oh, what am I going to do? It's going to be all right. Keep working, persevere. Thank you guys so much for watching this and let's get ready to do it.